nothing else, it's not about beauty, it's not about the mouse. If this is what happens in the end, you lose value. Because literally you can't get to the beach. You have to drive there, and when you do, you can't park, so you can't get to the beach. There is no way. And when you get there, the beach is owned by somebody. So you can't get to the beach. What are you going to do? Next. Okay, uh, a little bit about Seaside. Uh, this, this, is, this is a portion of Seaside, mixed use houses, live work units, townhouses. Now, you, you can't look at urbanism from pictures. You can look at architecture from pictures, but urbanism you have to live. You have to spend a day there, preferably a night, see what it's like in the morning, see what it's like in the evening, see who gets up in the morning, see what the kids are doing, you know, all the different age kids. Can I get a martini at midnight? You know, can I get the Wall Street Journal in the morning? All this stuff is terribly important. So, Seaside is not so much of its looks. Everybody talks about it. By the way, lots of little imitation Seaside-looking places up and down the coast. And by the way, they all say, we're like Seaside. You're not like Seaside. You look like Seaside. The thing about Seaside is the life, not the look of the buildings, actually. So, what, what's interesting about this terrific town center that makes a lot of money and is really a social condenser that brings people in is how small it is. And what we want to do is build at least one of these for you so that you can go there, spend the day, and your grandchildren can enjoy it. Look at it. Look at the size of it. So these are the condos, right? This is, this is the drive. The entire town center of Seaside fits there. So this incredible presence Fits actually, part of it, of course, is, by the way, in this one, you have to show us this as well, okay? In this one, this, this town center could fit on three or four lots, you know, in the front. So this is very doable. Now, as soon as I showed this, guess what? Everybody wants it. No one's fighting us. Like, there are at least four. The reason we have so many, so many different, uh, we have so many different uh, uh, versions is that everybody wants one, so we have to draw four. <laughs> Uh, this is Seaside, and by the way, Seaside grew, this is, a, this is our Vita, you know, big development company, actually like WCI, and they actually hooked on to Seaside, and this is the pre-existing town of uh, Seagrove, Sea and here's the whole of Seaside, the entire damn thing, which is 60 acres sitting on just a little bit of your coast. Seaside could have fit where you built these condos, so it's not that big to make a great place. You have, you, more, you have more than enough land. Next. And uh, Seaside on the, oh, this is another one. Okay. This is called Rosemary Beach. These are the live work units. You can see the main streets with people and cafes. All these people out there are pretending to be in a place like this. You know, the, <laughs> the and uh, by the way, the, these are privately owned. These are people who live above and run as a business, either run the business or rent the business, etc. That's the main street. This is uh, the second one of our towns called Rosemary Beach, which by the way, is much more sophisticated than Seaside, actually. Uh, it's the one, it's 10 years later, it's better. And that was done by a big company too. That was done by Lucadia. The first one was done by a kind of late hippie, Robert Davis, when he was 35 years old. The second one was done by a big company, a six billion dollar company. Next. Uh, okay, now, the value. Let's get down to money, okay. These are other conventional developments, Seacrest Beach, Seagrove Beach. Ours are Rosemary Beach, the DPZ walkable ones are Rosemary <coughs> Seaside Alice. This is, now this is not waterfront, this is 400 feet in. It's, we took a band 400 feet in and took the sales in the last four months, what does it say? 2011. Just 2011 sales. And uh, Rosemary Beach, by the way, the conventional developments, the ones with golf courses and so forth, they're selling for 235 square foot to a 212. And uh, the walkable ones are selling for 619, 650, and 563 square feet. Two and three times as much per square foot. And by the way, they're much less amenitized. There's less golf course, less stuff, less, you know, they're just houses. So this is really valuable stuff. Now, of course, the front is the front. I'll get you immediately. The front is the front. The front anybody can sell because it's, it's waterfront view. Yes, sir. Well, um, having visited or stayed at Waterfront this whole time, uh, not, this not one. I'm wondering if uh, yeah. those this. figures are current. It seems to me Watercolors had a pretty good resale yep. uh, price, and I don't know if 
This was uh, done in, t this was all the two, 211. Watercolor had a lot of speculators, so unfairly, well, Seaside didn't, but watercolor, what dropped watercolor was that there was a lot of flipping going on just before the, just before the, the fall, and that's what dropped it. It's going to go up again because it's excellent. Though. It's, uh, my, my mom said there's some similarities there, the watercolor and Seaside. Very similar. In some ways, it's better, actually. Except but, watercolor has privatized a lot of their waterfront, yeah, yeah, whereas Seaside did not, and that's yeah. a big difference. Our communities don't privatize the waterfront, okay? <clears throat> and so what happens is people come and they shop. They come to the beach and shop. So we have lively town centers. Watercolor privatized the front. Looks just like Seaside. And so nobody goes. So the shops are dead. There's nothing to do. They all go to Seaside. They all go to Seaside. Mm -hmm. So it's all a, a big thing. You, you, you make the beach public, then the shops work, and everybody has fun. It's a little bit chaos. And it's management. It isn't all design. When you look at the design, it's as good. When you look at the management, it's different. It's uh, the it's massive uh, dune structure in watercolors. Is Seaside comparable? Or? Yeah, we, we follow the code. And in fact, we we followed the code before the code was written. But see, what happens to watercolor is that watercolor has hidden fences in the in the uh, in the palmetto palms. If you really try to get to the beach, you keep hitting fences. Seaside actually gives people walkways to go over. So the whole thing is much more attractive. And as I said, it's not that Robert Davis was trying to be nice to people. He just said, I want to have a lively town center that requires that the beach be accessible. So our... Uh... Now, Rosemary Beach and Alice Beach, we didn't try so hard. It is accessible. We made it a little bit less accessible. Because, mm -hmm. frankly, Seaside is overwhelmed. So what we learned in the second or third project, 10 years apart, is, that, is to adjust the valve a little bit. The other thing is we also don't pro provide as much parking in the others. Ultimately, the valve, if you start getting overwhelmed, stop building parking. It's the only way to keep people away. Seaside, we provide a lot of parking. It's overwhelmed. Too many young people, essentially. By the way, too many young people not shopping enough. <laughs> I put that in parentheses. <laughs> that's the problem. Uh, but that's how it works.